Okay, as we left off the servo installation, I have uh, already installed the Eleron servos with the clevis here. I've went ahead and done both sides. We've got the elevator servo in there. We've got the rudder ele ele uh, servo inside here also. I've went ahead and ran the wires up under here. It goes inside the fuselage there, as you can see inside there. So we're moving right along. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and install the motor, which is a high max 96 inch millimeter ducted fan. It comes ready with the motor installed. So what we got here is the 96 millimeter high max fan. It's, uh, it's got a pretty long support here for me to connect the wires but what I'm actually thinking about I'm thinking about running my speed control outside the plane I'm gonna see how it works out but as I was looking at the design it actually would be better to keep the speed control as cool as possible uh, instead of putting it inside the fuselage there but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a, a, a small fit test of how the motor lines up it fits in there really perfect I've tried it already a few times Take this down here. So the motor is going to sit right here. It's going to sit right there. As you can see, the wires are long enough for me to run right up under here, which is it, which it was designed for. If you buy the kit, you will see that there's holes inside of here that allow those wires to run back inside the fuselage. So let's move on to installing the motor. Then we'll get to the landing gear. Then I'll jump back to the wings because I haven't decided if I'm going to actually epoxy these on here or if I'm just going to run screws inside the wings like most big size planes have screws to lock the wings on. Okay, moving along here. I've already installed the motor. Uh, I've secured the wings here. There's a screw that I've put inside here on both sides. And I applied a little epoxy here in the back. Because when I tighten the wings together, it seems to have a little gap there. I'm, I'm sure the screw would have held the wings on in flight, but I just wanted to give it some security and add a little epoxy here on both sides. Uh, just about finished here. As you see, I got most of the electronics in there. Got my back in there. I got my two gig receiver in there, the L1 wires, everything's working. So now I'm going to move on to installing the landing gear. Now this black line here I've made here is where the landing gear inserts at. Search right there. The magic marker I use is just about the thickness of this landing gear so it's kind of perfect I don't want to make a big hole there I want to kind of keep it hidden just enough so I can slide it in there and it not be noticeable that it's really going inside the fuselage so it doesn't look tacky so I'm going to slice a hole in here using my Dremel
rest of yours are going to fit right in there. I have to take it up just a tad bit more. Fit like I want it. And there you have one landing gear. It's going to be three screws that locks this in place there. And see in there where the landing gear locks in place. gonna lock down right there. There's three holes already pre-drilled for you with some tree ankles. So I'll repeat the same steps on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock those in and I'll be right back with you. Okay as you can see here I've got the gear in there both sides. There's little screws in there you can see that holds it in there. now moving on to the nose gear this is another big tip on the nose gear most of these nose gear come perfectly circled here so usually what I do is take my Dremel and kind of give this a flat and curved surface here is try to flat this so when I put the collar on there the screw here that has a flat tip will screw in it and lock it in place so I don't get any turning from left to right it's kind of steering safety uh, it's happened to me a few times that I've flown at my field and you come down on a hard landing in the steering gives out so the plane tends to go whichever way it wants to go you, you want to try to avoid that that's not a pretty sight particularly in my field is there's a fence to the right and there's a bunch of pickle weed to the left so you want to try to stay off that uh, damage the wings of your planes or run off the end of the runway into the dirt and screw this whole little system up so before I stall at this as you just saw I, I flattened this out with a dremel here so this screw would hit flesh there allowing me to once I screw it in not going left to right you really don't want to put Loctite in there that could be an answer to it but if you have to remove this then you're struggling the area inside there is, is pretty tight so you don't want to uh, have to try to work in there too much that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and install this nose gear and I'll be back with you uh, Everything's going fine. I haven't run into any issues. I've used almost all the equipment that came with the unit. Uh, let's go ahead and install the nose gear and then I'll be back with you.